In the 10th century, there's an Arab mathematician, Al-Biruni, who measured the, the radius of the Earth to within 1%. What he did was that he climbed a mountain with an astrolabe. He measured the horizon, and the horizon was not quite uh, horizontal. It was, it was dipped at an angle. Here's the Earth, and here's a mountain, not to scale. Okay. <laughs> so, so if you're standing on top of a mountain, the, the horizon is actually not horizontal. It's at an angle. Right. Yeah. Here's the radius of the Earth, and uh, you have a right angle triangle here. If a radical triangle, the hypotenuse is uh, the radius plus the height of the triangle. And if this angle is theta, then by trigonometry, this angle is also theta. And so uh, there is an equation, I think, uh, r is equal to r plus h times cosine theta. Uh, just from elementary trigonometry, you can relate the radius of the earth plus the height of the mountain to this angle. And so you, you can compute uh, the radius, I think it's something like uh, h cosine. So there's a formula and you can compute the radius of the Earth from the height of your mountain and the angle of declination. How did you know the height of the mountain? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I guess you could, you could walk around a bit and, and take angles. and That part I don't actually know. With enough trigonometry, you, you can do it. This comes from an interview with Terence Tao about all of the clever ways that humanity has measured distances in the cosmos, from the size of the Earth up to the most distant galaxies. If you want the full story, click the link at the bottom of this short.